Hi, this is Greg from ASUS, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the Chromebook Flip C302. And I'm also going to use it to show you how easy it is to install your favorite Android apps onto your Chromebook using the Google Play Store. The C302 is our most advanced Chromebook to date, with an Intel Core M3 CPU, up to 8 gigabytes of RAM, and a 64 gigabyte SSD. It's also our most powerful Chromebook as well. But why would you need all that horsepower to run Chrome OS? Well, with the Android apps now working natively on Chrome, you have access to over a million games and apps that can take advantage of that extra horsepower to give you a great gaming or productivity experience. Accessing Android apps on the Google Play Store is very easy. The first thing you need to do is check and see what version of Chrome OS you're using. So to do that, you click on the taskbar here and go to the Settings menu. And up at the top, you'll click on About Chrome OS. And this tells you what version of Chrome OS that you're using. I'm using version 57. You need to have version 53 or newer in order to run Android apps. Now, there's also another caveat here. You also need to be running the beta channel of Chrome OS. So if you click on More Info, you'll see I'm currently on the Stable channel. But in order to run Android apps, you need to be running the beta channel as of right now. So to change that, you click on Change, and then choose Beta, and then click on Change Channel. And that'll take just a few minutes to update. All right, so it finished updating. Now all we need to do is restart the system, and we'll go ahead and apply the changes. All right, so we're back into Chrome OS. Let's go ahead and make sure that the change has been made. We'll go back into Settings, About Chrome OS. And you can see now we're on version 58 and we are in the beta channel. So everything looks normal there. And now, while we're in the settings menu here, we need to scroll down and go over here on the left, Google Play Store Beta. Go ahead and click on Enable Google Play Store. All right, so it automatically opened up the setup for Google Play on your Chromebook. So we'll go ahead and agree to this. And that's it. Google Play Store is now installed, and installing apps is just as easy as it would be on your tablet or phone. Now, with the huge variety of apps available on the Google Play Store, not all of them are optimized to run on a laptop-style mode. So that's why the C302 has a 360-degree hinge and touchscreen. So you can change the format to fit whatever kind of app you're using. So if you're using a productivity app like Google Docs or Sheets, you can use it in standard laptop mode. Then you can also put it in tent mode if you want to chill out with Netflix or some YouTube. Stand mode also works well for videos, but I think it's great for presentations or just sharing your screen when you need to. Then of course there's tablet mode, which works great for games or just surfing the web. The power switch and volume controls are on the side, so you can access them in any mode. There are also two USB Type-C connections, a headphone jack, and a micro SD card reader. The screen is a full HD 1920 by 1080 touchscreen display with 10 multi-touch points. It weighs in at about 2.6 pounds, and the full-size keyboard is backlit with 1.4 millimeters of travel for a great typing feel. So for more information about the Chromebook Flip C302, go ahead and click on the link in the description below. You can also check out this video from JJ where he goes into more details about the features and specs of this system. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.